So now I want to demonstrate to you the uh, home seer and how the home seer is set up for the Nuvo system. Right here you'll see uh, a list of, these are called devices. It's uh, a list of home seer devices that I've mapped onto each Nuvo zone and it covers uh, power, uh, the source for that zone, and the volume level for that zone. All that information is communicated to the Nuvo box back and forth between Nuvo and Home Seer, and that's how I keep everything synced up. So for starters, uh, this is the kitchen zone. You can see it's off. Let's go back down to the kitchen and turn it on. And that uh, turns on the kitchen, so you can see that that's now selected to a Sonos box. Uh, if I go back down here, I can change that to Zone 5, which is a cast audio box. And now I'm on Chromecast audio here on my kitchen zone. So that's how that works. Um, it's a little bit clunky, but it's kind of how home seer is made. They're kind of designed to have these devices here. And uh, I will probably create a script that will maintain all these things for me. And if you're interested, you can use that uh, to uh, create uh, zones within uh, home seer for your own system. So let's move on to HS Touch. Now this is uh, probably the least mature component of Home Seer. This is a default screen that is shipped with HS Touch. HS Touch is free uh, that you can download onto your iPad or iPhone and uh, you can customize it using some software which I purchased. And I'll show you how this works just as the default. Uh, right here you can see you can actually select uh, Nuvo Zone 9 is the kitchen. So here we get to our kitchen and just as before I can turn it off and that actually turns off the kitchen or I can turn it back on and maybe select a Sonos device and then I'm back on Sonos on my kitchen. This product is not great. Uh, it's kind of the default system that Homeseer uh, ships with. Uh, I have not found it to be particularly uh, malleable. It's not very fast doesn't upload uh, and download and sync the content very quickly and screen refresh rates take an awful long time so I'll have to work on that that's a kind of a work in progress right now but for now this is just the default system just to show that it has it is actually working uh, so that gives me confidence that I can probably integrate my devices using a custom screen on uh, on home seer HS touch which will hopefully be a little more catered to uh, just the Nuvo component of my home system.